All right, to me a BBX build part one. How am I going to organize? So I'll show you what tools I've got. Uh, I've got craft knife. I've got a few sets of tweezers. This type of set as well, so I can open there. Got a flathead screwdriver. I've got the two Allen keys that came in the packet. Got a small Phillips screwdriver. Little spanner tool that came with the set. Got some snippers. Got a big flathead. And I've got my Leatherman Surge just in case. Uh, so, first section is from number one to seven in the manual, and it says I need bag A. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out of bag A and organize it. I also need the chassis a bit further along and the mortar. This is the mortar I'm using, it's a Tamiya GT tuned mortar, uh, 25 turns. Uh, I have no idea really what, what I'm doing, but I've done a bit of reading and this should be okay. Like I said in the previous video, I've gone for brushed. I don't want the car too fast because the kids are going to be driving it. Uh, and I can upgrade in the future if needs be. So yeah, that's the motor there. Uh, if I'm doing something wrong, comment please. I'm learning. What else have I got for organisation? I've got this box. So I can put bits and bats in so I don't lose anything. And I've placed a big white piece of thick piece of paper down on the table so I can organize stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'll get everything out and we'll see where we are at. Alright, so I have organized everything. A little bit tricky, but you'll get the <laughs> you'll get the gist. So what I figured out, and I didn't realize, and it's probably quite obvious, is that all these pieces, everything in the manual, if you're a bit unsure, like these, some, some really small washers, they're all, they're all on the manual here, and they're all to scale on the manual, so that's really good. If, not, if you can't figure out what's what, you can just line it up with the picture on the manual, and they're all to scale. So that's pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna begin with, Part two in the manual. Part one is just get a battery charged. That not necessary yet. I've already got one. Uh, so yeah, part two. I'm gonna have a crack at that now. Uh, I've not taken these ball bearings out of the bag yet because they are they are super tiny. Look at them. Lose one of them and yeah, it's game over until you find a new one. Uh, so I suggest, when you take them out, have a place to put them in, that they're not going to roll about. I'm going to put a little border on here somewhere, I think, or I'll just place them in like this, so they can't go walkabouts. Because they are super tiny. And if you're working with a carpet underneath you, or a rough floor, they're, they're gone. For sure. Even them ones, they're quite small as well. But, uh, oh... I'm going to attack this and see what happens. All right, quick update. I've just done this section with the ball bearings. There's 12 small ball bearings. Make sure you grease them. Uh, what I found is I put the grease in the holes first rather than on the ball bearings. And then I used these tweezers, pick the ball bearings up. These are magnetic, so they pick them up really easy. Now I'm just on uh, this bit. And this is the really small ball bearings, and they sit, if you can see that, they're supposed to sit in between two washers, like that there. Pretty difficult, but if you get plenty grease on, on the screw, washer first, then the screw, uh, and then place the ball bearings on top. Now I should be able to place this washer on top, and then in, but make sure you put plenty grease on, and then they'll stick nice and easy. Okay, just a quick update, setting the uh, the mortar and pinion. So, what I've done to set the pinion on, I've got a piece of paper and I've just put it between the mortar and the pinion. 
so it's not quite touching the pinion. So the motor's not quite touching this plate. I've pushed it on and I've tightened up the grub screw to set the pinion to this, I wouldn't call it fly flywheel. Uh, I've used a piece of paper and put the piece of paper in like that. And then I've tightened down these screws. So that should be enough distance. You've got a nice scrunchy piece of paper. That should work. I believe. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I think that's good. I'm going to add some uh, ceramic grease now. I'll get back soon. All right, boom. That is uh, section A done. It's taken a while. Because I've got uh, Alexander with me, I'm trying to entertain him as well and get him involved. Uh, it went all right. I mean, as long as you follow the instructions, it's it's pretty straightforward. There's a few things which not hundred percent clear. So the uh, diff ball grease. There's not much. I didn't really know how much to use. I've, yeah, I've spread it out equally. I think I've put enough on, but there is a little bit left. Uh, maybe I should have put more. So if anybody knows how much of this to use, then let me know. Also, the uh, ceramic grease on the plastic gears in here, quite a lot of this left. I've put on a decent amount, I believe. So we'll see about that. Yeah, so some of these you're screwing into plastic so you don't want to go so tight i'm tempted to put a little bit of loctite on some certain plastic screws in here this one this is the owls in here it's it's tight but there is a there is a slight gap there i think shit and grime will get in there eventually it'll get everywhere it works in uh these as well they're also into plastic so just want to be careful I'm i've done them all up you know across one two three four and then tighten them uh but i mean that yeah that's about enough what i'm thinking so they're, they're tight but they're not they're not over tight they're not going to lock they're not going to stop the screw will start turning in the plastic before it locks up uh what else yeah there was two of these maybe that breaks i don't know what part is that this was a bit strange. this is part ma27 so it came with two of them but i've only used one De you definitely only use one so i don't know why there is two there but uh no oh, we'll see so that that's that it's done chassis motor it looks smart it's got some weight already i think this is going to be really cool so gonna have a bit of lunch and then crack on with bag b all right so i've got everything out for the next section including bag b and quite a few plastic parts uh these plastic parts, the majority of them snap off the tree. These are turd. These are cheap things what I've got. They don't work. So it's better to just snap them off. And then I've cleaned them up with the craft knife. I've cleaned the tabs up so there's no loose ends lying around. Uh, yeah, going to crack on with this. Doesn't look too difficult compared to the last section so this runs from stage 8 to stage 14 and it includes adding the servo and the ESC and the battery uh, so yeah I'm going to crack on with that also the uh, dog legs as well Right, lots of things up to 14 up to there and then part c is the wishbone suspension sections so yeah let's do it now the loctite comes out as well this is the first time it's been shown to to use so 
Oh, I'll crack on with it. Porsche woman's just been. Porsche woman Patricia brought me two batteries. Three S Live Ports and they'll fit the uh, Banggood Special car, so that's good. Uh, and a charging loom, so I can charge loads of different batteries. And just in time, my uh, Radio Link receiver for this car. Otherwise, I'd rather take the receiver out of another car, which I didn't really want to do. So, perfect timing because now I need it. So, yeah, we'll crack on with that. I'll update if I find anything difficult or, yeah, we'll see. Okay, quick update, halfway through this B bag. I'm on section 11, it's taken quite a while. I've had to go and pull someone out stuck in the snow. I've had to get the fire on because it's bloody freezing and I've had to entertain Alexander and cook food. But anyway, uh, I got a little bit stuck with the servo, so, I didn't know how to set the servo to neutral. That's pretty easy. You just put it into the uh, receiver, turn it on and everything, and it'll click, click. Now it's in neutral. But then, this part here, I'm using Q3. These springs here, these servo springs. I'm trying to get these on were a bloody nightmare. Uh, so what I managed to do is get a screwdriver and put them... Put the screwdriver the first what's first spring were all right second spring was a nightmare get a screwdriver push it in to open it up and then i managed to slide over and then i'll use my leatherman to pull it on and then the third one the black one that were relatively easy but that were hard for sure all right update you when i get a bit further right that's that section done struggled a little bit with the servo uh, <coughs> I set it to neutral, but then getting this bit on, it was it was like one. It's hard to explain. It was like one click out. Uh, comes with two different things that go on it. I don't know where the other one is, but yeah, I can adjust that on the. If it is out, I can adjust it on the uh, transceiver. Uh, slipped up with a few screws as well. Put some of the screws in the wrong place. We had to backtrack and take them out. So double check what screws you're putting in measure them up with these with a the manual uh these bits a little bit tricky they've got to be 27 millimeters so i've got a ruler plus the to scale on the manual as well so worked out quite easy but we just took our time and then it's all falling into place clipping these steering ball joints in are a little bit tricky. We use the we use a Leatherman to click them in. Just got to be careful. Uh, but yeah, now we will turn the page. We're now on forty. No, now we're on fifteen. So bag C, page ten, number fifteen. It's looking like the the main frame and suspensions going on. What is this? What arms? A arms. We'll see, we've got everything organised and see what it looks like. <clears throat> well, I've been demoted to the kitchen table because the good lady wife's come home. Uh, so this is C, it's going to be the uh, front bulkhead with the A-arms and the roll cage section. I've got the majority out what I need. I'm going to leave these ones in the bag because they're coming out later on. Uh, yeah, I'll crack on. Anything gets in my way, I'll uh, update. Let's do it. All right, it is the next day. And I've got Alexander with me. Uh, how did we get on with that section? Wasn't bad, was it, mate? No. Was... Yeah, it was fairly straightforward. I watched on Daddy's iPad yesterday. You watched on my iPad yesterday. Uh, yeah, nothing too difficult. It went quite well. Yeah. Nearly had an heart attack because I thought I lost two pieces. Yeah. Two of these little ball joints that sit in here. But 
they were stuck to the back of this. I put the, this down and it picked them up with magnet and it stuck on this. So if you do that, keep an eye open. Decided not to paint this yet. I'm gonna do, probably do it with acrylic paint. Let me know if that's wrong, but I'm gonna do it with a paintbrush because there's not much exposed when the shell's on. So we'll see. One problem I've ran into is the servo wire is too short to get to the receiver so I was tempted to cut it and extend it but then I've had a look on Amazon and I can find some extenders so they'll be here on Thursday there's no rush because I've still got to wait for uh, a battery to change that to a T connector so I can use my batteries so they only use T connectors but that's coming Wednesday but, but it's not a crawler no it's not a crawler it's a buggy mate there's a crawler coming though uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, there was a little bit here, two little metal bits that sit in here to hold this battery cover on, and it says use ceramic rubber glue. I ain't got any of that, but I've used Gorilla Glue. Works fine, it stretches, there's no worries with that, so I'll probably use that on the wheels as well. Uh... Yeah, I didn't have much time last night, so I had to get the wife involved. So she's painted the driver. This bit's still going to be painted black, so she'll do that today. But it's a woman driver. Oh, um, my God. Um, what do you think of driver, Alex? I'm going to paint the black. Well, you're going to help me paint these. So what we're going to do now today... Paint, 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 This paint, is a bit fiddly paint, for Alexander. We're going to try and strip the chrome off this. So I've got some... Uh, Paint stripper. I'm going to test a little bit on the inside first with a brush <laughs> and see how it goes. Hopefully it works. Take up paint off and then paint them up a good colour. Mama, it does go to more like them that are uh, am. Mm. And then that's it for this part. I'll do another video because now I'm pretty much halfway through the whole build, I believe. So I'll cut the video here and I'll make a second part after this. I think it's going to be a while, but it's going good. Like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>